and welcome to my new apartment. Now I know I didn't make an August one. I'm so sorry about that. I had no Wi-Fi and I was moving house and I just got super super lazy. So I thought I'd crash course it with September and make an August Stemba favourite. So let's go. And I've actually got a friend over who's watching me film, which is super weird because I never have anyone watching me film. Dun da da da! Yuri, the very gorgeous Yuri, and I'm in my new apartment right now. Um, yes, and that's my new computer, so now I can edit videos, and I got Final Cut Pro and everything, so it's fantastic. And once I get this apartment up and running, I will do a video, but recently it's been a nightmare. When I first moved in, the gas was leaking. I swear I almost got gas poisoning, because my whole apartment, because it's so small, it smelled so strong. And then when I was going to bed at night, I felt like I was coming in and out of consciousness, like I felt my head was floating. And then the other day, my washing machine, the pipe thing broke, and I couldn't wash my clothes or anything. So yes, this is my first time officially, officially living alone, because I don't have any roommates and such. So um, let's hope I don't die. This month has been very uh, trying at least. To to say uh, the other day when I opened the toilet there was a daddy long leg spider in it and I had to kill it by myself so I'm one step further to becoming a real adult. Okay I'm gonna start off with some food. It's called the Bell Vita breakfast. It looks really um, boring but this thing is a godsend because I have to wake up really early in the morning and I don't have time to make breakfast in the morning because it's always like dance class or something and we just rush there. These biscuits like they're so small, they're only four pieces, but once you eat them, you're literally full for four hours. Because my first class um, finishes at 11am, it's 8 to 11, and we don't have any eating breaks or anything. And I'm always so hungry, like no matter what I eat in the morning. And these, they fill you up so much, they have heaps of different flavours. My favourite one is the chocolate chip. They taste so good, all my friends always eat them as well, and they literally fill you up so much. You just eat a packet of them in the morning, and then you can dip them into your tea, or like your milk or coffee or something, and it'll fill you right up. So, perfect for the people on the go. I'm not too sure about the nutrition value, but it says five whole grain cereals and it's gently baked and it says to get your day off to a good start try a tasty breakfast with Velveeta and then next you guys know how much I love all my supplements and all my vitamins and minerals and whatnot this one's from Oh yeah. This one's from Nature's Own, and because of the change in season, because we're going into autumn and fall over here, a lot of people are getting sick, and I felt like I was getting a cold so many times, but I managed to squish it and defeat it with this. What they are is, they're called Echinacea, however you want to pronounce that, kind of looks like Echidna. Um, and they basically fast track your cold if you already have a symptom. For example, I had a cold and usually I get a cold for like 7 days, but when I took this, it was over within 3 days. And then the other day I woke up and I had a really bad headache, had a sore throat, my nose was runny, and I took this, and then the next day I was fine. So it just says, reduces the severity and duration of colds and provides immune support. And this is all natural and everything as well, so it's really good. It's just like a herb juice, which is what the E word is, echinacea. Now this month, I don't have anything from Zara Home, unfortunately, because I moved house and I don't live next to the store anymore but I live closer to Eco and More which is this eco-friendly store with a lot of household products um, this sounds really like motherly and like sock mummy but fruit and vegetable wash because all the fruit and vegetables are really dirty in China because they're sprayed with a lot of pesticides and a lot of chemicals and because I have a really sensitive stomach I always get stomach pains and stuff and you can get a lot of stomach bacteria in Shanghai as well so this is great because if you just wash it with normal water it's not enough and you can't really wash your food with soap because like what if you don't wash it clean enough and you just eat the soap you could like die anyway so this is a fruit and vegetable wash with no added fragrance it's biodegradable and non-toxic so it's specially formulated to fight heavy use of pesticides and other toxic chemicals this plant-based liquid wash will free your fruit and veggies from traces of agricultural chemicals bacteria wax and dirt leaves no taste or odor so basically I just squeeze a little bit onto my fruit or veggie and I just wash it off with water. I wanted to feature a lipstick in this month's video. Recently I've actually gotten contacted by quite a lot of companies, um, which is awesome because YouTube has helped me do that. And one of the companies that contacted me was called Madame Glam and what they're famous for is their lipsticks and they're cruelty free as well, which is really what caught my eye. And the fact that from New York, which is like my dream place. So I was like, oh, this is really cool. And they are cruelty vegan free products and this lipstick is the one they sent me. It's called Berry Licious in 114. It looks pretty dark, but really on my lips it looks much lighter because I usually go for the corals and the pinks and the fuchsias and I was really hesitant to try this colour and I thought I'd just try something a little bit different and it actually looks alright. I paired it with a grey top as you can tell today because a lot of my clothes are like yellows and oranges and I don't think it would go very nice with this sort of deep berry colour. Um, you can check out their Instagram page or website and I've actually got a coupon for you guys so you can check it out right over here. 
and like Obviously, I wouldn't show you guys products that I don't like myself and I don't use myself. I actually reject a lot of things and sometimes I find it really hard to reject like proposals and companies. So just don't reply them. So sorry. But I've got a few more exciting things coming up, um, collaborations and such. So please keep your eye out. And they're definitely all products that I enjoy myself. So, you know, they're safe. Go check it out, guys. Another sort of beauty makeup product that I've actually had for years, I just never used it, was this scope, bleh, strobe cream by MAC. I actually bought it when I had my year 12 formal makeup done by MAC and I didn't know what products to buy. And the lady who was doing my makeup at the time, because my skin was so dry and irritated, she was like, try this cream. And at the time it looked great and it smelled really nice, so I just bought it and I just never really used it because I don't know what it's for. And basically now I just use it like a primer, so I put some of this on and then I put my foundation on, which is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. Or otherwise I just combine the two and sort of just mix it on my hand and put it on. And I find that my skin breaks out a lot less because I'm actually like allergic to foundation or something and I always break out and get really itchy when I wear foundation but this stops it and it gives me like a nice sort of glow and it's a bit of more of like a dewy finish because my skin's pretty dry so you guys can try that out and I haven't had any reactions or any irritations to this so far Another thing with the season changeovers that I get is super super dry lips like literally my lips are so dry it was like the Sahara Desert and I tried all the sort of lip balms that I had, like an Estee Lauder one, Elizabeth Arden, and like the Kiehl's, and none of them would work. The only one that would work was this pawpaw. Now, a lot of people hate pawpaw because they swear that it makes their lips drier than it already is, which makes you keep on reapplying, which makes you really obsessed with it. But this is the only thing that helped. And I know everyone probably has heard of this before, and a lot of people have used it, but seriously, dry lips, this worked wonders. And another thing as well... This is like another Australian thing, it's called Lano Lips, the original Lano Lips. It's a bit glamourish, but it's got this gorgeous sort of like fuchsia-ish hot pink colour and it's so moisturising because I use a lot of lip moisturisers, lip tints, like you know the Clinique Chubby Sticks, but none of them moisturise as well as this one. So if you all got prone to dry lips and you still want a little bit of colour, this one's great. And you can put it on really lightly so it's a little bit of colour, you can just pile it on and it looks like you're wearing lipstick. For fashion finds, I've got two pairs of shoes again this month. Um, I'm not a sneaker girl at all, and only like two years ago did I start buying Nikes, you know, when the whole Air Max, Air Free, Nike Free thing craze went on. And now, I just can't stop wearing them, and because I just have uni every day, I hardly ever wear boots, I never wear flats, I never really wear heels. So I bought two pairs of sneakers, one is the Adidas Original Superstars. Now, I didn't want to fall for the trend because everyone had them, but they just actually fit so well with every outfit. Like, sometimes I just wear them with a dress, and they're so cute. Um, the only bad thing is that I have really small feet. I have size like 4 or size 33, and the smaller size these came in is size 6, so I kind of have to drag them along every time. But they're really comfortable because they're really nicely padded. And the second pair, you've probably seen these around as well, these are the Nike Air Max Thea's, the new kind. Um, I've wanted Air Max Thea's for so long, but I just could not choose the colour. Like, I didn't want the classic black and white ones that everyone had. I didn't want really colourful ones because I wanted to be able to wear it with everything. And then the all-white ones, the old ones, they just looked really chunky. And then when these came out, they were just so amazing that I bought them straight away. They kind of look like Roshi slash Air Max Thea's to me because of the material at the front. And they're just so much more thinner and like streamlined looking and more feminine. Another thing that I got this month was my iMac. I used to have a MacBook Pro but the, the stupid thing is just like it does not work anymore. I swear they expire after two years so I had to get a new computer and because my parents didn't get me a um, 21st birthday present, they got me this laptop because they said it was really useful and then I can make my YouTube videos. I got Final Cut Pro X as well so now I can edit and make cooler videos for you guys. And it's just so much faster. The screen is so big. I didn't get the biggest one. I just got the smaller one. But I got the one with the bigger memory. And it ended up being like just a little bit over 9,000 RMB. And they had some special uni student discount going on. So I got a further 5% discount. And I also got a pair of Beats headphones. And it's just amazing. It's so fast. And I can see so much. And the color is brilliant. And a lot of people don't use desktop computers anymore. Which I think is a shame. Because this... Fella here can basically double as a TV, so I just sit on my couch and I watch all my TV shows on this and I haven't seen TV shows so big in so long and it's just what an experience, what a pleasure. Speaking of TV shows, I watched two amazing, amazing TV shows. Actually, one amazing TV show and one amazing movie. The amazing TV show is 
the big C. Now, when I first sort of saw, <laughs> my friends agreeing, when I first saw it, I was like, I really didn't want to watch it because I saw that it had like a middle aged woman on the cover. It was about cancer, and I was like, this looks really boring and cheesy and stereotypical. And it was nothing like that. I would say it's something like Orange is a New Black slash cancer. Like, the amount of humor is so dirty, but it's so hilarious. It's basically about this woman who gets cancer, obviously, and then how she goes through the last stages of her life. And it's really hilarious and lighthearted, but then suddenly it gets really emotional and it just wrenches at your heartstrings. Like, I think the second season finale, I was just sitting there crying for so long and then when the season finished I just sat there for half an hour I just I didn't know what to do and I had like dreams about this TV show as well and like the lady's brother he's basically like a dumpster diver and he's like oh I'm one with the nature and I would not use any products or like light or electricity and he's hilarious he's like the comedic relief and you've got the husband and of course they got marriage problems and then you've got the teenage son going through puberty and just having a lot of troubles in his life so it hits very close to home even if you don't have any experiences with, can with cancer you don't have family members who have cancer and it also opens your eyes to their side of the world and how they live and it just I don't know, it just gives you quite a bit of knowledge as well. I think it's a very good TV show to watch for all ages, like a family TV show as well. And the movie that I watched this month was How to Train Your Dragon. Now, I know everyone's seen this movie, and I just never wanted to watch it because I thought it looked stupid. Like, I'm a big Disney person, but for some reason, I don't really like Pixar films. And I watched it, I was just like, wow, this movie is amazing. Then I watched the second one, and it's very rare that you find a second movie in, like, a series of movies that is just as good as the first one. I think the story and everything, the story is just about staying true to yourself and just being who you are and finding, you know, the good things about your own personality and not changing for anyone else because why would you want to be the same as anyone else? You're you. Um, that sounds super cheesy, but I think it's a really good movie and the music went along with it really, really nice and the storyline was just so warm-hearted. I literally watched both movies three times this month because I had no Wi-Fi and I had only the movie and it was the only movie that I had downloaded so I just Rewatch, rewatch, rewatch. If you haven't watched it, please go watch it. Even if you don't like cartoons, it's got an awesome storyline and like dragons. That's cool, right? My music recommendation for this month, don't laugh. It's Sean Mendes. I've completely fallen in love with him. I know he's like 17 and whatnot, but to me, he sounds like a young um, Ed Sheeran with a really nasally voice. But his lyrics are just so cute, and like his music is surprisingly mature and grown up and I love any acoustic things and sometimes it's got really good riffs and like really good choruses and build ups so go check out his music some of my favorites are crazy and never be alone it made me cry so much and <laughs> stitches life of the party and aftertaste actually just basically is all albums really really good so this is the I'm not gonna let you listen to it. this is the album that I'm talking about Sean Mendes handwritten and some other music that I've been liking. I've actually really, really been liking all of Kygo or Kigo's music, especially all of his remixes. Um, I see Fire, Ed Sheeran, he remixed that, and even though it's like six minutes long, it sounds amazing. Definitely go check that cover out. And of course, as usual, to finish off with a quote, this month's quote is, you are only as young as a sunrise, you are only as old as a sunset. And you can interpret that any way you want, but even today I was talking to my friend Yuri right over there about how I'm feeling really old recently and like, you know, we're not young as in teenagers anymore, like high school, and we're not old enough to actually take on heaps of responsibility and do really big things. And we're kind of stuck in this age, but where we feel too old to sort of enjoy like childhood life and everything. So that quote just makes me feel really sort of revived almost in the way. So maybe you guys can think about that when you finish this month off. Enjoy the rest of your month and hello October! <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to say hi? Hi! Hi! Introduce yourself! Hi, I'm Yuri! <laughs>